Hey guys, Max2015 here bringing you guys another episode of Boom Beach. I am super happy today for for many reasons. Um, number one is Thanksgiving. Uh, well, tomorrow morning will be Thanksgiving. And um, I'm just really excited because, you know, I'll be off uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully you're celebrating if you're in the United States. And I'm stoked because we're going to go over to a friend's house and just have a good time and dinner together. Um... I am also really happy because today I was able to clear most of my map, at least all the bases that I wanted to clear, with very little difficulty and very little stress. And on top of that, my victory points have soared up to 1579, which in the local US puts me at number 4 in the country, which is pretty awesome thinking that in this whole country of, you know... I know we have a lot of people in the U.S. Uh, I don't want to give you like a rare number and then sound like a complete idiot. But I know that there's a lot of people in the U.S. And I'm sitting at number four, which is pretty awesome. And then as far as global goes, I am at number 24, which is also an, uh, an all-time high for me. So I'm very happy for that. I'm super excited. And this is in spite of the fact that I didn't play yesterday. I skipped playing the entire day yesterday and most of today until tonight because of work and I was just doing some projects so I just didn't have the chance to play but I was able to play tonight and I was able to clear most of the bases so I'm super happy as far as updates for the base I just put down uh, this defensive building damage 14% I know 15% is max but this is the the best one I could get in, in a short time and I just replaced it uh, replaced one of the building hells because uh, I just uh, I've been getting rated like three to four times recently so I just put put it down because I thought maybe after all, having a little extra damage will be better. Um, but enough about that. I wanted to share some of these replays with you. Today is going to be all CRZM because, I don't know, for some reason, I am on fire with these troops today. So the first base here is Bahar D, something like that. Anyhow, corner base, four eye statues, all four of them boosted. Um, uh, shock blaster. So I took down two rocket launchers. Uh... I decided to leave the one rocket launcher on the top there because I was able to shock that one along with the shot launcher together. So that's why. The other two were really spaced out and if I shocked them, I wasn't going to be shocking anything else good around them. So that's why I decided to go for those two. Put all my troops in the front, right in the middle. Uh, I failed this base one time before and I, that's when I put my troops down on the corner by the sniper tower here. But that didn't really work out because... You know, the shock blaster was just kind of killing my troops. So this time I decided to shift my troops over a little bit more to the center, which is what I did this time. And, and you know, it worked out. So I just let my troops kind of spread out, take down as many buildings as possible. I had to throw some critters and shocks to distract that shock blaster because that thing was just picking off on my rifles really fast. And, you know, I needed my riflemen to survive. Um, right there, I threw another shock along with that flamethrower in the back. Not like it was going to make a difference. There was smoke on the flamethrower on the top because there weren't too many rifles in there and I wanted them to last a little longer. Most of my rifles were all the way down here in front of that mortar, which kind of made me a little bit nervous, but that's why I threw the smoke. But fortunately, they took it down and then I flared all the way to the corner. I needed to gather them up so they could go up on the uh, upper left side of the base and threw some smokes to cover my medics because I needed my medics to last, especially with that one rocket launcher laying down on me. Uh, the good thing is that he only had one defensive building damage, and even though it's boosted, it's just one statue, so, you know, your rifles can last a little bit longer than usual. Once they have two, it, it changes the entire thing, and once they have three defensive building boosted, I mean, your rifles will just die and they drop so quickly. So right there, another flare to the rocket launcher, shot launcher combo in there. Another smoke to the flamethrower, because, you know, flamethrowers have the rifles worse than me, if you ask me. Um, so just let my troops kind of move in, take down more buildings. I am, I was just glad the shot launcher went down. I had to throw some critters to those three mines in there to get those triggered because on the first attack, those three mines kind of got me, caught me off guard and killed a ton of my Zuka. So this time I wasn't going to let that happen. If you notice, I still have a pretty fair amount of rifles left, about a good, you know, nine or ten. So... When you're going towards the end of the base, you know, that's actually a pretty, pretty healthy amount of rifles left. So I just got enough for one shot on that shot launcher mortar combo down there. And after that, I, I don't think I had anything left except for uh, med kits. Yeah, right there. So I was just throwing med kits, you know, because that's the only thing I could afford at that point. So, but I had a good amount of Zooka just, uh, you know, aiming for the HQ. So I was really happy and I knew I was going to take down the base. It was just a matter of time. And then a smoke at the end there just to celebrate the victory. 
So that was Bandor S's base. Bandor S. Yeah. Then after that, um, there was this base, Atin Sun, which is, I guess, God of Heavens, if you if you will. Um, we'll get we'll get him in a, in a second. But Patrick's base came first. His base was kind of tricky. It was also four ice statues, all four of them boosted. A very classical um, center base with a shock blaster in the back. The only good thing about this one is that all the rocket launchers were in front of the HQ, so I was able to deal with those first. So I just took down one shot launcher and rocket launcher on the right side, put down my troops on the left, and just smoked them right next to that rocket launcher. I chose that spot, of course, because you know that's the blind spot of the rocket launcher, so I didn't have to worry about that particular one. And I would only have to worry about the, the remaining rocket and shot launcher there. So throw some critters next to the boom cannon and then throw a shock. I deliberately chose that spot to put my critters because it would distract the the shock blaster, the shot launcher, and this mortar down here, which kind of got me a couple of times. So, so that was the best spot to drop those critters to distract all those defenses while my troops just kind of explode out and start blasting every single thing on that base. Also, did I go in? I think it... With Two boats of, uh, yeah, yeah. I went in with three boats of um, Zukas, and only one boat of medics. Yeah, I, I needed a little bit more extra, so I kind of switched back and forth tonight between you know more rifles and more Zukas. So reflared them all the way up to the top there. Throw a med kit. I was kind of hoping that my troops would naturally go for that shock blaster, but they they did take a little bit longer than I would have liked. But eventually they did get the job done. And then once I got once the blaster and the flamethrower were down, I flared straight to that mortar down there. My hope was that once they take down the mortar, they would just fan out and go for the two boom cannons, but they didn't. They only went for one boom cannon. So I was forced to reflare again to the boom cannon down there. And then my troops kind of just got killed on that uh, boom mine. But then they eventually did take the boom cannon and I flared them to a safe spot where my zookas would be, you know, free to shoot. I ended up with, I think, seven Zookas, exactly, if I remember correctly. Yeah, seven Zookas and one rifle. I don't know if you can see the rifle. He's standing right in between those two Zookas. Um, but they were clear from all the other defenses. Only the one mortar was sh throwing shells at that one medic. But once that medic died, it was smooth sailing. So it was just a matter of time after that. Um, and, yeah, I was kind of worried because it seemed like they weren't going to get it done. But once the shield came down, the HQ actually came down fairly quickly, and I still had like a good 7 and, or 10 seconds left, so not bad at all. But it was definitely a tricky base, uh, Patrick's base here. Um, after that, then we went for Teen Sun. And I was really worried when I saw him respawn, because he spawned on my map one time before. Uh, it's six eye statues, masterpieces boosted, but the problem is that he had that laser beam, which is my worst enemy. I personally, I just can't stand it. It is the worst thing for me to deal with. So, and, and this is one of those bases where I, I hit, I attacked so many times before uh, up to the point where I couldn't attack anymore. So I got really annoyed that one time. I did eventually beat him. And then when he respawned today, I was thinking, Christ, how did I beat him last time? But eventually uh, I just kind of found a different way to do it, which was to put the troops down in the front, take down the two snipers in the front to get a little bit of extra gunboat energy and then flare them again in between the laser beam and the rocket launcher. Again, I chose that spot because they would be in the blind spot of the rocket launcher and they would take down that laser beam right after the smoke clear. So that's why I did take down the one rocket launcher down here so I wouldn't have to deal with too many things shooting at me. So craters right in the middle of the HQ to distract the shock launcher, rocket launcher, and then shock the, the laser beam while my troops just kind of exploded out and start clearing all the defenses around it. I had to throw as many critters as possible because those two shot launchers were too close to my troops. Um, but once once they kind of you know spread out and started you know taking down more and more buildings, then I started feeling more and more confident. There was still one rocket launcher shooting at us, and but I was like I had to just you know take the hit and let my troops do their job. Um, there was it was really lucky that a little group of troops back here went for the shield. So once the shield generator went down. You know, the, the main group in here was able to take down that HQ very, very quickly. So, you know, this attack actually worked out really well. It took me just a few, a handful of tries this time. I was so worried that I was going to go through the same thing I went through last time and, you know, just max out all my attacks. But anyways, Tinson, you can suck it because your base really sucks, at least for me. And I got a really nice crystal out of that win, so I was super happy. 
Uh, w Miao is the next base. I think that's how you say it, right? I'm not sure. Uh, anyhow, his base also had four ice statues. All four of them boosted, as you can see. But this one had a, a double shield generator thing going on. And I can tell you from seeing and attacking so many bases with double shield, unless you have five or more ice, double shields just won't work for you. I mean, it was actually a very easy base. It only took me, one, I think, two tries, actually. Two tries to get it right. And, and I'm only going with four offensive statues. So four ice statues really won't work for two shield generators. You're better off putting down a laser beam or a shock blaster. Honest to God. But anyhow, that's the case. And in this particular case, having those four ice statues and the two shields works better for me because the raid was actually somewhat easy for me. So again, I, I got rid of one of the rocket launchers on the left and then just smoked them right in between the, those, the two rocket launchers here. I wasn't going to be standing in the blind spot of either of them, so I was going to have to shock them both. So throw some critters and then shock the two rocket launchers along with whatever defense is possible around them. The critters, of course, were to distract the two shot launchers. And then once my troops came out of the smoke, they just started going for the two, for all the defenses. The rocket launchers were down immediately and just let the troops kind of spread out. And you, this part is pretty textbooky, I guess. You know, critters right on the HQ because there were no flamethrowers, no machine guns right on the HQ. So one pack of critters was actually lasting a really, really long time. And you'll see it, those critters will last forever. What did worry me is that there were only riflemen shooting at that uh, shield generator in the bottom there. No Zookas down there. Well, there were one Zooka, but still, rifles alone will take for a long time to take down the shield generator. So it did worry me a little bit. That was the reason why I failed the first attack. But eventually, you know, on this, in this particular instance, I did get it. Uh, I had a really good amount of Zookas up there just blasting down the second shield. And once that thing went down, you know, that HQ came down really, really quickly. So that was actually a pretty good attack, if you ask me. I was trying to cover some of my medics, but you know, the the raid was already over. So anyway, yeah, that was W Meowin's base. And then the last base t tonight, this was the last spawn that just popped out. Um, this was a four, yeah, again, four ice statues. I mean, it's, it seems like four is the lucky number tonight. Everybody have four ice statues. Except for that one base, I had six, but anyways. Again, a laser beam on this base, so it was tricky, but lucky for me, the laser beam was in front of the HQ, so I was able to take it down uh, instead of having to go around the HQ, so that thing that made things a lot easier. However, because of its long range, I had to start shocking it very, very early, which I didn't like. Uh, and I had to just take the heat from those two rocket launchers in the front there. I, I was just counting on the... Uh, hoping that my troops were going to take them down, which they did, but it did take, again, it took me two or three tries, I think, to get this one right also. But anyhow, put them right, uh, critters to distract whatever I could, mainly those flamethrowers, and as soon as I got enough gunboat energy, I would just throw a shot right there, center of the HQ, which was perfect because I could shock the laser beam along with the two mortars, you know, all the deadly splash damage that would ruin your RZM rate. So then just let the Zuka just spread out and do their job, uh, once the laser beam was down, I was breathing a little bit better. I kind of hoped for for my troops to take down the second shot launcher, but they didn't go for it. Um, at least the troops did finish off the two mortars around the HQ. And then, uh, you, you'll see, I got a little bit lucky here. So, on the left side there, if you notice, that shot launcher got fixated on my Zookas there. But once the Zookas died, my medics, the medics that were standing in there, sorry for that, um, just kind of kept it distracted so i had a group of zookas just blasting down the shield in here and the, the boom cannons were picking off the rifles but i got enough gunboat energy to put some critters so they took some of the heat of the boom cannons i mean if it wasn't for that freaking flamethrower they would have lasted a little longer but it didn't matter um i was kind of holding my breath i'm not gonna lie i, I wasn't too confident but eventually you know things just kind of happened so that shot launcher just kind of got fixated on the medics over there and then my Zookas were just going at it at the HQ. And thank God the boom cannons are kind of slow. And it had a pretty good number of Zookas still shooting. So eventually that HQ did come down. And so that was it. That was the last video of the night. I was super happy. Brought me up to 1,576 or 79 victory points. Something like that. What is 79 I think it was. 
yeah so super super happy and now my boost has already run out because you know i was just done playing so yeah really good night if you ask me you know i thought it was a really successful night like i said not a lot of diamonds spent not a lot of gold spent look i still have 1.4 million gold after it was done so pretty pretty incredible all right guys so hopefully you guys like the videos i know i don't i don't use crzm often so hopefully those of you who do like to watch crzm will enjoy this uh, okay guys and so until next until then i'm max 2015 i'll see you guys in the next forge guys take care bye